be in that area later. Beverly Hills, if anybody needs a little nip and tuck. Sometimes it does help. I've had some work done myself. I don't know if you can tell back here. I am 85 years old. It works. I go to the best one. I go to Dr. 90210, Dr. Ray. That's my plastic surgeon. I will give you this card later if any of you're interested. But yeah, the traffic, this is what residents of LA have to put up with on a daily basis. basis. It's supposed to be the non-busy period. It gets much worse later in the day. Normally the busy times in the roads in LA on working weekdays, what they call the rush hour period of the peak hours between 7 to 9 in the morning and 4 to 7 in the afternoon and into the evening. That's when the traffic can be extremely bad. As bad as the traffic normally is here in LA, surprisingly, most people are very patient. You don't hear people using their horns so much like you do in other big cities, especially in New York. Must be the next. Okay, that's a look at the Inglewood oil fields. Now we'll turn left at the next traffic light onto a street called La Cienega Boulevard. It's another main street going north and south. It also starts in Hollywood and goes south to left down towards LAX via Put. La Cienega means the swamp in English. It sounds better to say La Cienega than the swamp, at least I think so. This is an area they want to call Rancho La Cienega, an old Spanish settlement. Many of the um, names for these uh, streets and uh, neighborhoods, they come from the old Spanish land grants that were given out when this was Spanish territory. Okay, we're going to turn left at the next traffic light, and we'll get onto the 90 freeway. It's also known as the Marina Freeway. This is the shortest freeway in LA. We'll take it from the beginning to the end. If you blink your eyes, you might miss it. At the other end of the freeway, we'll be at the ocean front. As we get onto this freeway, coming up to the left side, you will see an indoor shopping mall. It used to be called the Fox Hills Mall. Now it's called the Westfield Shopping Center, which may sound familiar to uh, some of you. We have many Westfield shopping centers here in the state of California. And they call this a freeway interchange. Just to have we're going to cross over another freeway, the 405 freeway. That's the main freeway going north and south on the west side of LA. It's also one of the busiest freeways in the US. About 500,000 cars travel the 405 freeway each day. And the 405 is a branch of Interstate 5, which is the main freeway in the west coast of the U.S. Interstate 5, it starts at the border of British Columbia and Canada. And Interstate 5, it goes south to the states of Washington, Oregon, California. It goes all the way south to the city of San Diego, which is about two and a half hours south of the lake. San Diego is on the border of Tijuana, Mexico. So that freeway we just crossed over goes from the Canadian border all the way to the Mexican border. In about eight hours north of the state five is the city of Sacramento. That's the capital of the state of California. Become what they call gentrified. Many professional wealthy people moved to Venice. Real estate housing prices have become very high in Venice in the last 20 years. Venice has become a hip, fashionable place to live and work. If you use the app Snapchat, the offices for Snapchat are located in Venice, very close to the beach. Call it Snap Incorporated. And come just out of your right side and on your left side, you get a look at one of the remaining Venice canals, made to look like Venice, Italy. People have the gondolas out, so make believe you're in Venice, Italy, to your right and to your left. Maybe some of you have been to Venice, Italy, uh, rode the gondola there. I rode the gondola at the Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas, if that counts. It's the second best thing. Looks a little different in Venice, Italy than it does here, just a little bit. Many celebrities have lived here in Venice over the years. Once who used to live here, actor Dennis Hopper, he lived here until he died about nine years ago. Julie Lopez used to live here in Venice. Actor Dudley Moore, Jim Morrison for the Doers. Even Lindsay Lohan, but she wore in a welcome. Celebrities who currently have homes in Venice, um, actresses Angelica Houston, Rosaria Dawson, actors Bradley Cooper, Elijah Wood, and a few others. Now we're going north on Pacific Avenue. This is the main commercial street going north and south close to the beach in Venice. This was once a poor area. Now these homes you see here, they all go for over $1 million. Some as high as about 3 to $4 million. Like I said, it's all about location. Many movies have been filmed here in Venice over the years, popular ones like um, Million Dollar Baby, Speed, Valentine's Day, American History X, White Men Can't Jump, Cowers, L.A. Story, 
the big Lebowski, the doors about the life of Jim Morrison, and many of the movies and some TV shows as well. If you've ever played the popular board game Monopoly, uh, over here to right you'll see three new yellow houses. These are known as the Monopoly houses. They have a Monopoly space in the front. Trust me, these homes cost a lot more than they do in the Monopoly game. No $80 specials here. Venice was once known as the Coney Island of the West. Coney Island is a beach amusement area in New York City. They used to rent streetcars out to Venice from other parts of LA. Many residents would spend their weekends and summers here. And this is one of the few parts of LA where you normally don't see many people driving. There's not a lot of parking available in Venice. Many of the homes here don't even have driveways. and. Many people have to park in the street, they want to lose their parking spots. So many people in Venice to get around either walking or riding um, bicycles or the scooters. It adds to the bohemian vibe. It's a live and let live lifestyle here in Venice. You notice that as we continue to do it. The Venice Beach is down to your left. They won't be able to drive right along the beach. I'll take you by the main entrance of the beach to so get an idea of what it's like. Venice Beach is an interesting place. So many shops along Venice Beach. It's pedestrian only. They call it the ocean walk or the boardwalk. There are places there we can get tattoos, body piercing, street performers, street vendors. They, have a, they used to have a freak show museum at um, Venice Beach that closed about three years ago. Also, Venice Beach, they have a big skateboarding park. And at Venice Beach, uh, there are many places where you can buy marijuana that's legal here in the state of California. It used to be a need of the doctor's prescription, a medical card, but then they legalized it for recreational use. That's good news for some people. Also in Venice Beach, you'll see the things you've seen at typical Southern California beach scene. Surfers, bicyclists, skateboarders, and there are many homeless people at Venice Beach. When the shops close at night along the ocean walk of the beach, that's where many of the homeless people are around. And at Venice Beach, they have the famous Muscle Beach. It's an outdoor gym with people lift weights. When Arnold Schwarzenegger first came to California, he used to lift weights at Muscle Beach. And then you know what happened? He became the governor of the great state of California, only in America. And there used to be a pier in Venice where they had a music rise. It got torn down many years ago. They still have a small pier in Venice, but it's used mostly for fishing. Over here to your left is an area called Windwood Plaza. That's the main entrance of Venice Beach. And if you look to your left, you can see with the big letters, the Venice sign. That sign lights up at night. It's been around for a long time. Venice Beach is usually quiet here during the morning. It's very busy during the um, afternoon, especially on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday. That's where you get the full Venice experience. If you come here uh, late at night, it's pretty quiet. Most of the shops along the ocean along the beach are closed at night. There are a few bars and restaurants here to stay open late. I don't recommend coming to Venice Beach at night time. It's not the safest place. It's a little um, dicey or seedy, as they say. And um, along Venice Beach, there's a bicycle path. The same bicycle path goes up to Santa Monica Beach. We're going next. There are places to rent bicycles in Venice or in Santa Monica. The whole bicycle path goes for about 25 miles or 40 kilometers along the ocean front. People like Venice for its funkiness. It's not like most of the beach here is. Some people call Venice the hate ashbury of Southern California. Hate ashbury is a hippie neighborhood in San Francisco, Northern California. Many people here have never left the 1960s. Yeah, but we may call it roundabout, circle, rotary. This is one of the few we have here in LA, the one going around. There are not many of these in this part of the US. Besides different movies, many TV shows have been filmed in Venice over the years, like Californication, The Practice, NCIS, Los Angeles, Ray Donovan, Master Chef, American Ninja Warrior, Ink Masters, Ballers, and one from about 40 years ago, Starsky Hutch. Here's another look at the Venice sign over there to the left with the big letters. Now we're continuing north on Main Street. Venice is known as being an artsy place. Uh, many of the houses and buildings in Venice, they have murals, paintings, some of them legally and some of them illegally. A popular painting is copyright on the side of this white building copyright. You'll see a painting of actor Dennis Hopper from Easy Rider. He was one of Venice's famous residents until he died about uh, nine years ago. Many of the homes here in Venice are old, go back about 90 years when the city of LA took over Venice. If you come back to Venice and you own, if you drive, they usually charge anywhere from about ten to thirty dollars in an all-day park here in Venice. It's more expensive on the weekends if it's very busy here. If any of you own a dog or like dogs, over here to left, this is a certified dog park. It's what they call it dog day afternoon. Every dog for himself. Around LA, many people they have dogs. It's like a trophy. It's also good good for networking, meeting new people. And around LA, we have many dog parks. We also have doggy daycare centers. We have dog bakeries, dog supermarkets, dog boutiques. 
Even dog hotels, I'm not joking, it's a big industry here. This city is literally going to the dogs. This is for Google. If you don't believe me, you can Google it. Don't worry, I said we better ones for later. Uh, could I be right at the next traffic light? You'll see an old red fire station. Now it's used as a restaurant called the Firehouse Restaurant. If you saw the movie Speed with Count Reeves, uh, this is where they filmed a, a scene from Speed where the bus was pulling up. It was filmed right in front of the old fire station. And across from the old fire station, could I be left at the entrance to CBS Pharmacy? Is an interesting work of art that's a clown ballerina. It's only in Venice, folks. There is the clown ballerina over to you after the old fire station to you, right? And that's a look at the quirky sights in Venice. When we get to the next half of the night, we will leave Venice and enter the city of Santa Monica. In Santa Monica, the street signs, they are blue with white letters and yellow at the bottom. Santa Monica is a separate city than L.A. Santa Monica was founded as a city back in 1886. About 90,000 people live in the city of Santa Monica. For the most part, Santa Monica is a clean, safe city. We'll go down and see Santa Monica Beach. Santa Monica Beach is probably the nicest beach in Southern California. If you spend a day at the beach, is why you're in uh, LA. I recommend you go back to Santa Monica Beach. And you'll notice quite a difference in Venice. Venice and Santa Monica are next to each other, but they are worlds apart. You'll see what I mean. So we'll ride along Santa Monica Beach, then we'll make a next stop close to the Santa Monica Pier. I mentioned his name earlier a few times, Arnold Schwarzenegger, this red brick office building right is owned by Arnold Schwarzenegger, that was the site of his alleged infidelities, his trysts. He thought what happened to your estate there, but apparently not. Alright, now we're going to go down and see uh, Santa Monica Beach. Santa Monica Beach is probably the nicest beach in um, Southern California, as mentioned, so we're going to look at it as we, as we ride along the beach. Alright, so here's a look at Santa Monica Beach to your left. Same bicycle path goes along this beach to uh, Venice Beach, where it came from. There are not many shops along this part of the beach. Across the street from the beach, right, you go to some expensive condominiums. Each condominium to right goes for about $3 million in average, so beachfront property can be very expensive. In Santa Monica, they charge uh, $15 for all day parking for one of these big parking areas to your left. $2 for two hours in a short term parking area. And you will see a few cafes along this beach with red and white signs called Perry's Beach Cafe. And one of those cafes, you can rent bicycles, also you can rent segways, surfboards, beach umbrellas there. And you can hire a beach butler there for about $100. A guy that will take care of all your needs for beach. And you'll notice many volleyball nets along the beach. Beach volleyball is very popular in Southern California. Many of the Olympians for that sport come to this part of the country. Sometimes they have volleyball tournaments here. They claim they invented beach volleyball at Santa Monica Beach. The most expensive real estate areas in the world. Even the homes that don't belong to famous people are nice to look at. And most, again, most of the architecture here is Spanish colonial style. This park you right is called uh, uh, Homey Park. This is where the rich people hang around and do what they do. And you notice it's very well kept in these expensive areas. Some areas you get a fine if you don't take care of your lawn. Now, of course, nobody mows their own lawn. They are professional landscaping. Okay, now we're going to go over the Bel Air, which is the most expensive part of LA. And Bel Air, the residents have the highest median income in all of LA. And of course, many people, they know of Bel Air from a uh, popular TV show that was on about 25 years ago called The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It starred Will Smith. It was Will Smith's first professional acting role. 
Before we get to Bellingham, we're going to find you another nice neighborhood. This area right here is called Westwood. Here in Westwood.